Our world is full of mysteries, pieces, things that are seemingly out of place, trying to tell us a story if we are willing to listen. Sometimes we miss the obvious clues that are right in front of our face. Maybe we have been educated to miss them. Maybe we are just ignorant of the truth. Maybe we are just not conscious enough. Information is violent. It pushes us out of our comfort zones. It changes our norms. It suggests that there are some things that we do not know. It may even suggest that some things we think we know may have been presented to us incorrectly. Just suppose the earth is round and spinning for a reason. Suppose it is like a record on a record player, a cassette on a deck, a needle on a hard drive, playing an interactive story for us, testing our choices, telling us that we have been here before. Did we make the right choices? Day after day, year after year, season after season, a story is unfolding. It is both linear and circular at the same time, because like a scroll, the story is being unfolded. But my question to you, and the idea I would like to present is, have we done this before? Genesis 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. My proposal is that in between verses 1 and 2 of Genesis 1, there are many things that happen that are not explained, like the pages were being torn out of a book that someone was hoping that we wouldn't notice. Something happened that is not described on those pages, something that will cause the entire earth to need to be recreated again. A darkness that was so prevalent on the earth that there could only be one antidote destruction. Something went wrong, terribly wrong. There is a story that history hints about as it mentions Atlantis, Greek mythology, and aliens who visited our planet. Earth had once been a paradise like the one described in Genesis, but the people who inhabited the earth would make many mistakes just like us. They would arrogantly believe that they could make choices that would have no consequences, but every choice has a consequence, an outcome, a harvest. The earth and its inhabitants fully destroyed. Darkness sat upon the face of the deep. It sat upon the waters. The material that perpetuates life now had no life to endorse. Civilizations, cultures, creations, and races of species wiped out because of the choices they made. Let there be light. The building blocks that everything is made out of fill the earth. He would send the Son of God to bring light where there had only been darkness. It was time to restore a planet that had been destroyed. It was time to reconcile a people who had sold themselves into slavery. It was time to resurrect a planet that had been destroyed because its inhabitants chose darkness over light. The earth was now full of light. Now the world has a chance for a fresh start. A chance to begin again.